Hello friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to create a new AWS account. So let's get started. You can go in Google and type AWS console. So this will give you the first link of AWS management console. You can just click on it. Let's click on log back in. And here we will say create a new AWS account. Uh, sometimes on the last screen that we had, you could see create a free tier account there itself. But right now, since I didn't get that option, you can click here as well, click a new AWS account. So you will see this sign up page here. You need to put your email address and uh, here you need to put your password. So of course, both passwords should match and the AWS account name. I'll quickly fill up, fill this up for me. So since I want to keep my mail ID as uh, private, so I'll fill this, this in while, but you can fill up the account name this way or you can keep it blank as, blank as well. So I've given it as organization test because I'm going to try AWS organization testing on this account and you can you know, check your password. So I'll be um, writing my email address and going on the next screen directly. So after you submit your email ID and password details, you come to the contact information screen. Here, uh, you need to write your company name uh, if that's professional, but I think uh, let's, let's go with the personal account. So if that is something uh, you would be using this account for testing, select personal and here you might want to your, select your phone number, your region, so that's India. And you might uh, need to write your address, if not detailed one in short and maybe your state and province. And so you just fill in these details and you can click on create and continue. I'll just fill these details for myself and move on to the next screen. So at this point you need to uh, insert your credit card or debit card number. So this is a payment information with its expiration date, date and your cardholder name. So your name on the uh, card. But bear in mind that you cannot use here the rupee debit card that is issued by Indian government these days. So if you see on your card, you would uh, notice either the visa or master on your card, on your credit or debit. But uh, the rupee card, which Indian government has recently, you know, uh, distributed. Uh, that is not acceptable yet by Amazon. So you cannot use that. Make sure you uh, put uh, the MasterCard or Visa card details. So we will just put those details and we'll move on to the next screen. You also might need to uh, submit your PAN details on the, this screen. So if you have your PAN number, uh, you can put that and move on to the next screen. So once you have put the information of your credit or debit card, uh, you might come on this screen where a transaction of two rupees would be initiated and you would be given an OTP. So just put the OTP over here. So this transaction is just to ensure that your credit card is working. So you need to proceed with this transaction. At this point, you need to confirm your identity. So again, you need to put your cell phone number and you need to insert this text and you can prefer to receive SMS or voice call. So uh, Amazon would send you one code via SMS or via voice call. So you just need to type the same mobile number that you had and insert this text. So I'll just pass, I mean, insert these details as well and move on to the next screen. So after the uh, transaction verification uh, on the confirm identity page, you will get, you know, this enter verification code. And this is the second SMS that you know, I got. So this is for a four digit verification of my code. So I'll just verify it. Okay, my identity has been verified and I'll proceed. And this is a point where you would see your different plans. 
So th this is a basically free tier plan where you can create resources for free for for some I mean uh, for some hours or for 12 months. And this is a development plan where you will get certain facilities. You can uh, you know raise a request with support in case if you are trying to test something and it's not working. This is a business plan which is hundred dollar per month where you would get an enterprise kind of account and a higher level of uh, uh, enterprise support I would say sorry uh, the business support but for enterprise level support you need to have a billing of 15,000 per month of billing so usually companies go for it since we are trying to uh, you know uh, test a few of our concepts on the account so we will go with the free tier of testing as we will use this account for our exploration reasons and boom we are here in the console uh, you can directly click sign into the console or if you are more interested you can write your role so let's say architect and let's select my uh, role as devops so if i say submit that's it and you need to create sign into console and there you are so you are on the screen right now and you the you might receive an email uh, with the links so uh, we'll just sign in with with our you can say username that uh, I, we had created for this account so this is my username and that's a root user by root user i mean that's a user which has all the credentials which is a main master account user you can say so we will say select root user and not I am so root user uh, you need to put your email address say next and here you need to put your password and that's it we are in the AWS management console here you would see all different AWS services that are available to you you can just scroll down it and take some time to explore those services the list of services and you can see my organization name or the account name that i had put organization test it appears over here and this is your default region so this is ireland by default but uh, you might go in another region to explore a few things so that's it for this session guys our new account is ready and we would be using this account for all uh, our trying and testing i mean exploring new things so see you in the next session guys hope this was informative for you thank you